So I remember when I first saw carbon fiber um, mountain bikes, you know, I was like, they're gonna be weak as piss, you're gonna do a jump and they're just gonna explode type thing. But um, yeah, now I've actually come to, fear, come to find that carbon fiber is actually, it's actually very strong and it's very stiff. So the only difference, you know, a lot of people say carbon fiber is weak. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's weak, it's, it's brittle. So instead of, you know, a hit that might bend an aluminium bike will probably snap a carbon fiber bike. And that's the main difference is, um, when aluminium bends, carbon fiber probably snaps. So in that way of thinking, it is, uh, it is weaker, but it's not actually weaker in terms of, um, breaking quicker than aluminium wood or, or bending quicker than aluminium wood type thing. So it doesn't really have any flex in it. So if it flexes to, it does have a flex, sorry, but it'll flex to a certain point before it just splinters and shatters, whereas aluminium, you can bend a piece of metal almost around on itself. The thing with aluminium bikes, steel bikes, whatever, yeah, weak points are usually where they're welded. So um, in my opinion, I don't think they're any stronger or any weaker than carbon bikes. I think they're both, they've both got their points. Um, I think carbon is very strong, um, but as I said, you might be able to, you know, do a huge jump or, or fall off or something, and you might bend an aluminium bike, you'll still be able to ride home. Whereas a carbon bike, you'd probably shatter it into a couple of pieces. So you probably won't be riding home if, you know, you were to put a carbon bike through the same stress as that. But, um, yeah, they are as strong as each other in that way of thinking, but um, they are weaker in a sense that they are brittle, so they don't really have a bending point. They just, they'll just snap before they bend. Uh, what else? It obviously depends on all the bikes as well. You can compare a carbon brand of this bike and a, a steel bike, uh, steel brand of this bike, and the steel brand of that bike could be weaker than the carbon on that bike, vice versa. So all bikes are going to be different at the end of the day, but general general consensus is that um, they're both pretty strong. It's just, yeah, as I said, metal, steel, whatever, it'll bend before it breaks, unless it's where the welds are, whereas carbon... Uh, it'll flex to a point, and then it will then it will just uh, shatter, like like plastic, like very hard, brittle plastic, um, is probably the best way to explain it. So, um, no, I, don't, I wouldn't say carbon bikes are weak at all. Um, like I said, there's some carbon, or well, most most high level uh, mountain bikes are actually carbon. There's a lot of cars now being made of carbon fiber and wheels, car wheels and things like that. So it's definitely not weak. It depends on the way it's weaved and and the quality of it. It's definitely not weak. It's just the same, the kind of hit that would bend an aluminium bike would probably snap a carbon bike. So simple as that. It's not weak, it's just brittle, it's fragile in a way. So that could be the same definition of weak, but um, yeah, it's probably the best way to put it. So yeah, 